So I was in marketing and communications, mostly with nonprofit organizations for 13 years before, you know, I heard about Supermoms. Um, so already working in marketing in increasingly technical roles, I would say, um, and increasingly kind of strategic and leadership roles. But the whole marketing field, I think, has gone more and more towards MarTech. You have to understand a certain amount of tech to really be efficient and lead a really efficient team. Uh, in marketing. And so I heard about Super Moms through actually someone I manage, one of my managers on my team at my former organization, Humentum. She had seen you guys uh, give a presentation at a conference that she attended. And she knew that I was looking to upskill a little bit and that um, due to my circumstances, having two young daughters, I really wanted to move. Well, I had already moved to a part-time role, even though I was still directing the team where we worked together. And I wanted to continue in a part-time capacity, um, no matter where I went next or what I did next. So she recommended Super Moms to me. And that's how I found you guys. Yeah, so I had um, first heard of Salesforce 10 years ago in 2012. And I was working at the nonprofit Habitat for Humanity and helping integrate Salesforce into that organization which was a great experience for me. Salesforce was brand new to me at the time. I was blown away at the time by all the capabilities the platform had, especially compared to the really outdated fundraiser pro database Habitat was using at the time. Um, so really interested in Salesforce from that point forward. I almost took my Salesforce administrator exam back then. Then that didn't end up happening for whatever reason. And I... Um, didn't end up pursuing it because I, I got content marketing positions that kind of took me away from the technical and kind of data side for a little while of marketing. Um, and so, you know, I have had experience in HubSpot. I've had experience in Marketo. I've had experience in IBM Watson, uh, various other marketing automation platforms. I had never on the job had any experience with Salesforce marketing cloud, um, which back when I first was introduced to Salesforce, wasn't even a, a product um, or something that Salesforce offered. So. Um, I think that my interest in Salesforce and knowing that Salesforce is really kind of the king or the queen, whatever you want to say, of CRMs and marketing automation platforms and really just many things. Um, and we want also the one I did not have any job experience in, right? That really drew me to the idea of returning to Salesforce, getting a Salesforce certification, but making it more relevant to the work I'd been doing and wanted to continue doing in marketing. So not just the Salesforce admin, but the Salesforce marketing cloud cert. I just chose to do the course with Super Moms because, you know, in exploring what options were out there for educating myself on Salesforce Marketing Cloud, unlike some of the other clouds in Salesforce or other certifications you can get where there's a lot you can do for either really cheap or for free. Obviously, there's Trailblazer. You can do things on there for free for everything. Uh, focus on Force for $20. You can do practice exams and get things like that for various certifications in Salesforce. But Salesforce Marketing Cloud has less materials out there that are just accessible at your fingertips. Um, you certainly can't get your hands on an, a live instance to actually go in and start playing around, learning how to build journeys, things like that, unless you're in a course like Supermoms. And so for that hands-on experience and also just that structure and kind of handholding, I really thought that Supermoms would work the best for me. I really needed that structure as well as the, the access. Yeah, I really enjoyed the program. I mean, I think. The structure I'd hoped for was definitely there. You know, there's weekly webinars that you attend that keep you on track with weekly homework. The homework is reviewed in the next session. Like you feel like you have to keep up with the homework and the work, which really keeps you on track to learn the stuff on your own time, as well as in those two and a half hour sessions. Um, I really liked the community. So Super Mums has a strong built-in community of not just the people in your current cohort, but the alumni um, who've gone through the cohort before you. They come and speak to you. They help with exam prep at the end. Um, you, you're you, you have access to all the alumni and Supermom's entire network via a Slack hub that you're added to as soon as you become a Supermummer or whatever you, <laughs> whatever you call them. Um, and so I liked the fact that Supermom's was using various platforms, you know, Slack, their own bespoke platform that you use for accessing the webinars and everything, and also LinkedIn to really connect you to a wider network of Salesforce professionals who have gone through the course before you. And my own cohort, I also drew a lot of support from. Like we started a WhatsApp chain. We would ask each other questions. We didn't have to go directly to our instructor, Sheila, who was also great, but we didn't have to go to her directly for stuff because we also had each other. We were talking via our WhatsApp chain. 
Uh, so you just feel like you have a lot of support. You're part of a little community going through it and it's much harder to fall behind and not stay on track that way. So I just got certified a couple of weeks ago. I can't say it's changed my role yet, um, but I did move to a consulting position at the beginning of October. Um, I started my own consultancy, um, a sole proprietor LLC. So I am doing consulting work for both my former employer and some other new clients now. And I hope to add some marketing cloud specific consulting work to that resume. Um, I did reach out to the person you <laughs> tagged me in for the Slack channel with, and I, I hope that that does work out. Um, you know, I'm still doing consulting on a more strategic marketing level and stuff that doesn't have to do necessarily directly with email marketing and automations. So it'll be, I think, a mix going forward. And I'm just thrilled to have the certification in marketing cloud because I think that opens the door for a very specific type of consulting work that not everybody is qualified for, right? And I can, I have proof that I'm qualified for it via the certification, whereas some of the other consulting I'm doing, I'm doing through my network and connections, but there's not as good proof that I've got that experience, except, you know, my, my work experience and my resume, but um, it's not a certificate I can hold in my hand and say, look, this is something I can do that other people can't do. So I'm, it, it gives me a lot more security that I can continue consulting in the capacity that I want to be consulting. Um, I don't have to take, you know, a staff job somewhere again, if I don't want to, because I have this uh, more unique skill that is in high demand in the marketplace. Yes, absolutely. Um, I was in a part-time staff position that was working pretty well, um, but for a various combination of reasons, I was going to either have to go back to full-time to stay in that role or leave the position. So I chose to leave the position. And, you know, there's not many um, part-time roles for marketing directors out there. People want full-time directors. So at the level I was working, it was going to be really hard to replicate a part-time staff position somewhere. And so to kind of continue the lifestyle I'd built where I had the flexibility to be with my girls at least two days a week during the week, um, or, you know, and only work 20 to 25 hours, but still be well-paid. I, I knew that I had to go the consulting route. And I, I just feel so far I've been able to do that. I feel like marketing cloud certification through super moms is going to help me continue to do that um and that's that's the driving motivation behind all of this right like i did not want to just be at the whims of what organization could hire me next what hours they would give me it's more like i'm making my own hours i'm making my own decisions about when i work and when i don't um and i can say look i have these skills you need so either you take it or leave it like these are the hours i can work <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I think I did go in with a quite a bit of marketing experience to begin with. Um, I do think that was helpful. Um, and I, I also had a little bit of a Salesforce background or experience, but there, there were certainly people in the course who might've been in marketing, but didn't have email marketing experience or did not have automation experience. And so some of the concepts of effective marketing were familiar to them, but they were brand new to the technology and they still did great. Um, in the course. So I think, I do think having some experience in either in Salesforce or in marketing, just as a, um, a field would be helpful before going into the course. I think that would be, that would make it easier, but it's not probably impossible for somebody to do well in the course without either of those things because of all the kind of handholding, the community support. Um, and you do have a lot of access to your instructor if you're struggling and have questions. So, you know, I think having a background in either Salesforce or marketing would help, but I would imagine that someone new to both could still do it if they were determined enough. Yes, I've been recommending the Super Moms Marketing Cloud course to my network um, on LinkedIn and in you know face-to-face -face conversations with people. Uh, I think that especially for people who are technically oriented and are marketers and are passionate about both, it's an ideal next step to upskill and make sure you have some tangible certifications to help advance your career. Um, that manager I mentioned who actually referenced me to the course, I'm pushing her to take that to take it now. Uh, so go through the Super Moms course. She's great. She's already a pro at Marketo and other similar platforms. So no doubt she would, you know, excel. Um, and yeah, anyone like her, anyone in my network who wants to advance their careers in a MarTech capacity, I've been I've been recommending the course too.